the mysterious, the mesmerizing, the praying mantis. The word mantis comes from the Greek word for prophet or seer. These insects have been associated with spiritual or religious significance in various cultures throughout history. There are over 2,400 species of mantises, each with its unique appearance and behavior. They are found in North America, Southern Europe, and Southern Africa. Mantises are among the largest insects. Adults generally range from two to five inches long. One of the most remarkable things about mantises is their ability to camouflage. They often mimic leaves or flowers, making them ambush predators that surprise their prey. The flower mantises, especially the orchid mantis, are amazing. They look so convincing that unsuspecting insects come to collect nectar from them and become dinner. Praying mantises are one of the few insects with stereoscopic vision. They have two large compound eyes that can detect movement in 3D, aiding them in hunting. They also have a wide field of vision. Each of their eyes has a fova, a concentrated area of photoreceptor cells that lets them focus and track with acuity. And not only can mantises see in 3D, but research has found their 3D vision works differently from all previously known forms in nature. Mantises have a unique way of cleaning their compound eyes. They use their front legs to wipe away debris or clean their eyes, much like a person using a handkerchief. Praying mantises can rotate their heads nearly 180 degrees, giving them an impressive range of vision without having to move their bodies, allowing for minimal movement as it sneaks up on prey. But strangely, the praying mantis has just a single ear, located on the underside of its belly, just forward of its hind legs. This means the mantid cannot discriminate the direction of a sound, nor its frequency. What it can do is detect ultrasound, or sound produced by echolocating bats. Praying mantises are carnivores with a taste for live food. They are skilled hunters, capturing a wide range of prey. Mantises don't stop at eating insects. They also target other arthropods like spiders and sometimes even small vertebrate animals. Some mantises are known to prey on small birds, in addition to frogs and lizards. The praying mantis is so named because when waiting for prey, it holds its front legs in an upright position as if they are folded in prayer. Don't be fooled by its angelic pose. If a bee or fly happens to land within its reach, the praying mantis will extend its arms with lightning quick speed and grab the hapless insect. Sharp spines line the mantid's raptorial forelegs, enabling it to grasp the prey tightly as it eats. One of the most famous aspects of mantis behavior is their unique mating ritual. In some species, the female mantis may engage in cannibalism, consuming the male after mating. This behavior is not universal, but occurs frequently enough to be a well-known phenomenon. It's a strategy to provide nourishment for the developing eggs. Praying mantises lay their eggs inside protective cases called uthake, which are light brown, about 1.5 inches wide, and look like foam insulation. These cases are often attached to twigs or other surfaces and provide shelter and camouflage for the eggs until they hatch. Like other insects, mantises undergo molting to grow. During this process, they shed their exoskeleton to reveal a larger, new one. Juvenile mantises can molt several times before reaching adulthood. The praying mantis is the only insect that actively interacts with humans. It walks on the palm voluntarily and stays there, even if it could walk or fly away. And there you have the world of the praying mantis. These insects are not just predators, they are masters of survival and adaptation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow nature enthusiasts.